Hello everyone. In this video, we have these exponential equations. We have 4 to the power x plus y minus 1 is equal to 64. And we also have 3 to the power xy is equal to 81. And we have to find the value of x minus y. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. Now beginning from this equation, we have 4 to the power x plus y minus 1 is equal to 64 is the same as 4 to the power 3, all right? Now you can see that we have the same basis, so we can equate the exponent. So we have x plus y minus 1 is equal to 3. Now making x plus y the subject, we have x plus y is equal to 3 plus 1. And this implies that x plus y is equal to 4, okay? Now moving on to this second equation, we have 3 to the power xy, okay, is equal to 81 is also the same as 3 to the power 4. Since we have the same basis, we can equate the exponent. So we have xy is equal to 4, okay? And I'm going to call this equation equation 1. Now from this equation, I'm going to make x the subject. So we have x is equal to 4 minus y. And I'm going to call this equation equation 2. Putting equation 2 into equation 1, we have y into 4 minus y and this is equal to 4 okay now we have 4y minus y squared is equal to 4 now equating everything to 0 we have negative y squared plus 4y minus 4 is equal to 0 now let's go ahead and then multiply through by negative 1 so we have y to the second power minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this equation could also be written as y to the second power minus 2y minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here we have y here and y here so I'll take y common. Then we have y minus 2. Okay then this side I'm going to take negative 2 common. Then we have y minus 2 over here and this is equal to 0. Now you can see that we have y minus 2 here and then y minus 2. So I can rewrite this as y minus 2 all to the second power is equal to 0. And we are looking for y, so I'm going to take the square root on both sides of the equation so that this square will cancel this square root. Now we have y minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? And this implies that y is equal to 2. Now let's substitute y into equation 2, okay? This equation. So from here, if y is equal to 2, then we have x is equal to 4 minus 2. And 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2. So now that we know the value of x and y, we can easily find the problem. The problem is find x minus y. Now we know x to be 2, then minus, then y is also 2, okay? So this implies that x minus y is equal to 0. And that is it. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.